Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Leroy with Happy Trailers. It is finally flannel season and I'm here for it here in Texas. Today, we're gonna be doing another comparison series. We're gonna be looking at tilt trailers today. I've got a Diamond C and a PJ trailer behind me. These are tilt trailers on 8,000 pound axles. We're gonna go through them all, check them out in detail, look at all the features, find any similarities, differences, get down to the price. Let's check them out. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so we are once again looking at tilt trailers. These are 24 foot long, the Diamond C HDT model and the PJ TJ model, almost a tongue twister right there. These are on 8,000 pound axles. Let's see what we've got. We're gonna start with actually an obvious difference here between these two trailers. Bumper pull, adjustable coupler. Um, you've got the Demco Easy Latch. I absolutely love this coupler. On the Diamond C, we're looking at a face mount style coupler. And as you can see here on the PJ, it's adjustable as well, but it's a channel bracket mount instead of the face mount. Both rated the same. You've got a 21,000 pound rated coupler, just a little different style as far as how to adjust them. Your jacks are gonna be the same. You've got the 12,000 pound jack. Now on the Diamond C, you always see these on these bumper pull trailers. It's got the deep, big front tongue toolbox. Gas assist pops up by on its own. There's even enough room to fit a full spare tire in here. Tons of room for chains, any kind of other stuff that you need to haul with you. Look at how deep this thing is. About 10 inches deep, actually 11 inches deep. So much room in there, so that's super nice. Now on the PJ over here, you've got a chain tray, the mesh chain tray in the tongue. You can definitely do a lot of nice things in there too. That's not as deep, it's not lockable, so you know, you've got that to, to worry about there as well, about six inches deep, so um, definitely still some storage there, but a lot more storage on the Diamond C. Get this one closed up again. When it's closed, it does still have a lip here as well, so that would allow for more chain storage or whatever else you'd like to do as well. But these obviously double as hooks if anything is needed that way. Now I will say we've got a spare tire on this trailer with the Diamond C. This is actually not a standard feature. Uh, we're not seeing a spare tire here on the PJ trailer. We just don't have it on this trailer right now. So that will make a little difference in cost. We'll get to that in a bit. So what we're looking at here is 24 foot long models once again. And both of them have a 16 foot long tilt deck. So that gives you your eight foot of stationary deck in the front. That would be from the breaking point here to the front of the deck. That doesn't include tongue space, of course, on either of these trailers. Also going to notice here on the PJ trailer, you've got a winch mount right here, so it's ready to go. Bolts are already in there, so winch mounting is gonna be very easy on this trailer. On the Diamond C, you don't see a winch plate here, so that would be something that can be added, of course. It's just not on this trailer. Another big difference that you'll see right away, the PJ has got a full rub rail with the stake pockets, the pipe spools go on the full length of the trailer, even here on the back end. And on the Diamond C, you're gonna notice it's got some swivel D-rings, does have some stake pockets, but it doesn't have the full rub rail. So not quite as many tie down points. That's one thing that PJ always does well. There's tons of tie down points, always. Not to say that it's really lacking on the Diamond C. You've got stake pockets, you've got D-rings, you know, plenty of tie down points. It's just not all along the trailer. So little difference there. Let's check out one of the big things that you're gonna notice right away, and that's differences in frame styles. So let's start here with the PJ. You've got a six inch channel frame. Let me confirm, there we go. Six inch channel, it's of course full wrap around. It goes all the way to the axles. And on the Diamond C, once again, it is a Diamond C, which means it's engineered. You've got an engineered I-beam frame. Let me start up here, I can show you. That is a beefy 10 inch I-beam. So there's definitely a lot of frame under this trailer. Here you can see it goes up under the axles. That's a heavy frame right there, guys, for sure. Another little added bonus feature here on the Diamond C. You got a cool little step right here at the front. So handy little feature. Easy to step up on the trailer. That is something that I don't get on the PJ, but hey, that's okay. So as I said, these trailers are both on 8,000 pound axles. These are torsion axles, which means there's no springs, very easy suspension. Um, they're, they're pretty much worry-free, you know? There's, there's very little maintenance that ever has to be done to torsion axles, so that's super nice. 8,000 pound axles are also oil bath, and one of the big differences in these trailers is gonna be the wheels and tires that come standard on these 8,000 pound axles. So on the Diamond C, as you can see, oil bath, these are Valcrum caps, but on 8,000 pound axles and up, you're always gonna get oil bath axles. You get that on both trailers. So what you see here on the Diamond C, you've got 17 and a half inch wheels and tires. That's actually a standard feature on this HDT model. And when you're looking at the PJ trailer, 
you're still on a 16 inch wheel and tire. These are gonna be 14 ply tires. These are 16 ply tires. So just a little added upgrade that Diamond C adds on their HDT model or anything with 8,000 pound axles. As you can see, we've got steel fenders on both trailers. They are bolt on on both trailers. So they're easily removable if they're in the way for any of your equipment. And once again, torsion axles, right? No springs, smooth suspension. No springs. All right, let's bring down the tilts and see how that looks. So the Diamond C here on the driver's side, just got a little latch, little lever, pull the lever back, that releases it. And you've got a flow control valve here for your hydraulic cylinder. That would lock it so that it can't move. Now it's ready to go. Let's go put some weight in the back. All right, it's down on the ground. Very minimal lip right there. So I don't see anything that couldn't make it up on that tilt trailer right there. All right. Kind of check out this frame. It sits on top of the I-beam frame for the tilt frame here. You got the single cylinder there. This was of course the hydraulic dampen tilt. There's no uh, hydraulic unit. So it's not like it's power up and down. It is just gravity, but this hydraulic cylinder will cushion it. So that once you get up here with your equipment, it's not just gonna slam that bed back down. Here's your lock to keep it in place. All right, let's check out the PJ. Very similar style. Got the lock lever. And here's your control valve. Closed, open. Let's put some weight on this tail. All right, it's on the ground. With PJ, you've got a true knife edge rear. It's all the way on the ground right there. The diamond plate in the back. All right, you can see on the PJ, the frame for the tilt bed cups around the main frame for the trailer. Same style, you're still a hydraulics, gravity tilt, got your little reservoir right here. And your tilt bed lock right there. The PJ also has an added, we come around to this side. Anyway, it's got a support bracket. So if you ever have to do any work on it, you can lock it in place. That's a super nice added feature. And nope, I didn't miss it on the Diamond C. It's just not standard here on this one. One thing that you'll notice now that the beds are tilted, the Diamond C fenders stay in place and the PJ fenders are actually part of the tilt bed frame. So the fenders tilt along with the tilt bed. Let's measure in between the fenders on both of these trailers and see if we're similar there. All right, we are edge to edge and we're dealing with 80 inches exactly in between the fenders. Let's go over to the PJ and try the same thing. All right, from edge to edge on the PJ, yeah, just a little extra space, 82 inches exactly in between these fenders. As we're coming around the PJ here, I should mention as well, this is what they call a double channel frame. So you've got the six inch channel main frame, and then of course another piece of six inch channel right on top of it for the tilt bed frame here as well. Double channel frame. Next up, let's make sure that we check the deck height as well. Once again, I'm gonna check out right here in front of the axles. We're on the PJ trailer right now. Got a deck height at, I'd say 22 and a half inches. Let's say at 23, let's just round up, huh? Let's check out what we've got on the Diamond C. Trailers are both level. All right, right in front of the axles on the Diamond C, you got a deck height. Man, we are exactly the same, 22 and a half inches. Exact same deck height, that's pretty cool. Let me talk about tilt pitch as well. Both trailers have the same tilt pitch with it being a 16 foot tilt deck. You've got an 11 degree load angle. Seeing it from the side here. It's very gradual, very easy to load up any kind of equipment really. And it's so nice, once you get over to that breakover point, it'll just slowly lower itself down and then you continue pulling forward from there. Okay, next up, let's talk empty weight and carrying capacity. 
These trailers are very obviously similar length and everything else. Uh, there's little differences of weight and overall carrying capacity. Let's check it out real quick. Okay, just for reference on the PJ right now, you're looking at a GVWR of 16,000 pounds. Now this trailer weighs 4,250 as an empty weight, which gives it a total payload then of 11,750 pounds. All right, coming over to the Diamond C. Here you can see we've got a GVWR of 18,000 pounds compared to 16,000 on the PJ. Uh, of course, you've got 17 and a half inch wheels and tires that kind of allow you to bring up that GVWR that way as well. And as you can see here, empty weight is 4,480 pounds. So it weighs just a few hundred pounds more than the PJ as well. But with the higher GVWR, uh, this gives you a total payload of 13,520 pounds. All right, now we gotta ask the biggest question. How much does it cost? Uh, today, I'm gonna start with the PJ trailer. Once again, this is a 24 foot long TJ tilt model with the 8,000 pound axles. This trailer as a 2024 model, it rings in at 13,499. Now, moving over to the Diamond C, this is the HDT, once again, 24 foot long model with the 8,000 pound axles. Similar options all around, standard on the 17 and a half inch wheels. You do have a spare tire on this one, very little added cost right there as well, but the cost on the Diamond C trailer is 16,299. So you're looking at a cost difference of almost $3,000 between these two trailers. Definitely quite a big price jump on these. You can kind of see all the different features that, uh, that bring up the value there, of course, of the Diamond C trailer. Really great bang for your buck for the PJ. In the end, they'll both do exactly what you need them to do. You do what makes you happy. Load up your equipment, take it to where you need to go, go make some money, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I missed anything. We'll see you for the next one.